Hey guys, what's going on? I'm just uh, praising the Lord tonight, going on a walk. But um, I just wanted to say that uh, I'm so excited for the next move of God because um, times are getting crazy right now. And these people that are that are on my friends list, they're fallen angels. And I can tell, you can just tell by their posts and what they're saying that they're getting extremely excited, excited as well. Uh, but I've been reading through the book of Revelations and uh, God's judgment is coming. And I'm not excited for the, uh, the judgment that's coming upon the world. That I mean, I feel horrible about it, but it's all in God's sovereign will. And... Uh, but what I am excited is about is about is that we we are here. There are many brothers and sisters that are answering the call of God right now, and uh, they see what I see as well. But God's calling us right now to put our faith and trust in Him. I apologize for the darkness. I'm walking down a dark street, but um, God's calling us to put our faith and trust in Him, like. I've I've I got faith and trust in the Lord like I never have before because he is my only hope and he's my only protection because you know the powers that are at B right now they uh they don't want me talking but God's showing me that I'm protected and uh he's showing me that he loves me and he's he's with me in these times because they wish death and destruction upon us. I'm talking about the fallen angels. Fallen angels are here right now. And uh, they know who we are. They, knew, they know who uh, the chosen are. They know who are the children of God. And uh, I was just going through Revelations and, and seeing. And it, it is it, the Revela book of Revelations is unfolding to me like it never has before you know i've went through it a few times quite a few times and you know i've studied commentaries on it i've studied great theologians opinions on the interpretations of it and you know although i don't agree with a lot of you know the points they make you know you have to discern for yourself and that's why god has given us a discerning spirit uh the spirit of truth so, um, you know, it, it just reignites a flame in my soul that God is about to make a major move right now. He, I mean, you know, the, the enemy and these fallen angels and these demons, I can see them. And they're excited right now because the reason why they're excited is because God, the one of God's judgments is going to be to release his hand of protection upon the earth and they're going to be able to have free they're all I can I multiple multiple I'm I'm a uh, the reason why I know is because I'm a member of these black magic and uh hidden knowledge the church of hidden knowledge and these satanic church and uh the the uh, Freemasonry and uh, uh, all these dark, dark satanic ritual groups. And I'm only a part of them, a lot of them, because I've been invited and I've accepted the invitation. And then also I've, you know, added myself to quite a few of them as well. But, you know, in, in reading and deciphering their messages and what they're talking about, they're all excited. Because they're going to have free reign upon the earth. But that's one of God's judgments upon the earth is, you know, he's saying, you've rejected me. So he's going to release his hand of protection upon the earth. And it's going to cause a lot of people to repent. But uh, it's coming. It's coming soon. But uh, but the most exciting thing is, is God's God's uh, about to make a major move. And though they're excited, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited because though they're here right now, we're here right now too. We are called by God to deliver the truth. 
And uh, that's all I'm doing. That's my main mission in life. And uh, I've surrendered my life to the Lord. And uh, my life is His. And I will do... I am at His beck and call. And I serve the kingdom of heaven. So, uh, yeah, the book of Revelation is unfolding before our eyes right now, guys. And uh, though the enemy has these wicked plans... Look, the, the face mask... And the coronavirus is all part of their agenda. It's all part of their agenda. It's all part of conditioning the public to receive the mark of the beast. If you're going to be subservient and wear the mask, I see people wearing a mask in their vehicle. Wearing a mask walking down the street with no one else around them. And I mean, it's, it's horrible because they are so deceived and believing the lie it's and, and and it even says it in the word it says you reject me i shall give you over and you will believe you to believe a lie you know but uh i just pray for everyone as well too you know the time is short time is running out and uh i'm not gonna stop saying repent repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand it is at hand so there was a uh, really high rapture watch time. It's called uh, the first fruits of new wine. It was on like September or July 24th to July 26th, which, you know, we, there was quite a few of us and people I follow and, and, and on the Jewish lunar calendar of God's holy feast days that pointed to a possible rapture time. Didn't happen, but you know, I just keep looking. I'm not going to stop looking, and it's not going to deter my faith a little bit, not even a little bit. But uh, the next high rapture watch time is uh, September that I see. I've always thought that the rapture of the church would happen on the Feast of Trumpets. That's when the trumpet will be sounded, and uh, you know God's going to call his people, call his people home. But, you know, um, it's happening very soon. But, uh, you know, I, I, and, and I believe that, uh, you know, Satan wishes to cause us to look like, you know, the boy that cried wolf. But, you know what? I, that's not going to deter me. And, 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 and you know how many messages I receive? Oh, where is the and it's in the Bible? They people are saying this to me. They're saying, Yeah, oh, they've been saying this for over 2,000 years. It's a mystical or you know, it's a fable. Uh, Jesus Christ is coming back. Ain't no Jesus coming back. Ain't nobody gonna save you. Blah blah blah. They're mocking me and you know, mocking God really because I'm just giving the word of the Lord. But, um, I'm getting exactly what will be said in the end times. It says, For, for it says. Uh, many will say, oh, where is the coming of your Christ? For many have said for many years that his coming is coming and that nothing happens. But uh, if you look at the times, Revelation, if you open the book of Revelation, you'll see. And you got to, I mean, you have to know a few things to understand what it's talking about, about the beast system. The current beast system that we're in is the current federal government. And all the registrations of all the births and, you know, and the birth certificates and the uh, Social Security cards. The Vatican owns us. I mean, they own they own our name. And uh, when you're registered by your parents, you receive a birth certificate, which is a bill of lading. Uh, you know, when you when in any registry is a registration of property. So. They own, they own us, you know, and that's how in commerce, and only Satan could set this up like this. In commerce, you have to operate within their rules, and you have to have a birth certificate and a social security number to be a citizen or a slave to the United States. But, uh, yeah, they, they, they only, but this beast system is about to be taken over by a by a, wor a worse 
beast system. And it's called the New World Order. And uh, it's in Revelations where the first beast hands off the baton to the second beast, pretty much. But, you know, the God laughs, God laughs at their plans. God laughs at their agenda and what they what they think is going to happen. But I know different because I study the word of God and uh, judgment is coming upon America. The worst. Um but uh, it's all in God's sovereign will. So, you know, they want us focusing on all the bad things. The QAnon movement, the Q movement. They're, they're all like, they've scheduled, they, they've made this so that they could expose all this evil. And then a false messiah could come in as a savior. That's what it was. That's what, it, oh, he's going to bring peace upon the earth. And then everybody, oh, Jesus was real. Listen. Do not be deceived because it says in the word of God, if somebody has to tell you Jesus is here or Jesus is there or Jesus is up there, if somebody, if you have to hear it from somebody else, it's not the real Jesus. It's not the real Messiah. If you have to hear it from somebody else and the major uh, monotheistic religions are uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And they have used and infiltrated they're going to use and they've already infiltrated all of the sects of, of uh of all the religions all the denominations and they have an agenda to make people be believe in the false coming of the messiah it's not the real messiah so that's what's coming up next and uh they're going to do this false it's going to be it's going to be hectic and it's going to get bad before it gets worse. They're going to shut down the food supply. They're going to shut down the economy. And uh, then the false messiah is going to come in as a savior. And everybody's going to flock right to him and be deceived. But it, listen, when Jesus comes, you're not going to have to hear it from anyone else. You're going to know it. There's going to be trumpets from heaven sounding. And that's going to shake the whole world. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Though they are excited because they're about to get free reign upon the earth, I'm excited too because we're here. And uh, God's plan is greater than their plan. And God's will will be done. Okay, His will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So um, no need to fear, guys. No fear. That's what God's showing me too. He's calling us to trust in Him and believe in His word and you know bow to Him now. Because uh, I fear the Lord. I don't fear the evil. I don't fear the evil. Though I was living in moments of fear of being tortured. That's it. I'm not scared of evil. I can see demons. I can see into the spiritual world. And they won't come near me. I can see them. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But it's true though. I can see them and they won't even come near me. And they try to tempt me and they try to draw me out of the protection of the Lord. And I do slip and stumble and I do fall sometimes. But, you know, I, I, I seriously am trying to serve God and be obedient to his commandments. But um, I love you guys and I just wanted to share that with you. I just see I see so many people are so excited and they're proclaiming love they're 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 holding they're they're like so they're mm -hmm. the Q movement is exposing all this evil and wickedness that's going on in the world so that when they come in they're gonna masquerade as angels of light and protection they they are of the highest evil but um no need to fear guys because god's got our back so if god is for you who's who cares who's against you because uh, we, I stand in victory. I stand already in victory. We already won. But uh, I love you guys signing out from heaven. Because uh, the kingdom of heaven resides within you. And that's why I always say that too. Because uh, I do. I live in heaven. Because I go, I go to the Lord and I bow before the throne of mercy and grace every day. And uh, God is with me. So who cares who's against me? I'm praying for you guys. In Jesus' name.